Sky Broadcasting organises both local and national charity events. This is part of a company-wide policy of giving back to the community, with charity efforts often focusing on what can be done for the communities nearest their offices. In West Lothian, employees have been doing a charity project every year for the last five years. Last year, they helped Sustrans clear a neglected cycle path in Livingston. This year, the Sky Garden Angels project saw a group of 12 employees working on two large and severely overgrown gardens belonging to elderly residents who were no longer physically able to maintain their grounds. Volunteers were split into two groups, one for each garden. They worked all day clearing weeds, pruning, thinning vegetation and cleaning up dead wood and rubbish. The Garden Angels teams were extremely enthusiastic, particularly knowing they were making a real difference to the beneficiaries. They were pleased to meet the people they were helping and to see firsthand the positive effect their help was having on someone's quality of life. Two more Sky offices have since approached the Garden Angels project regarding the possibility of volunteering proving that Sky is very supportive of volunteering efforts and is actively seeking opportunities to benefit the local community. West Lothian Council's Regeneration and Employability Team is engaged in employability supported volunteering. The specific objects of the project are environmental improvement, community benefit, community education, improved health and well-being, partnership working, engagement with the community and bringing together the public, private and voluntary sectors. The team recently organised and managed an environmental clean-up at Elyburn Park in Livingston, in partnership with the 14th Livingston Scouts. The Scouts secured support from B&Q, and as the owners of part of the woods around the park, the Woodlands Trust were also involved. The Council's Nets and Land Services section provided black bags, handles and pickers. Community wardens also participated. Further discussions are now underway to examine how the project can be repeated on an annual basis and to identify if the model can be replicated with other uniform groups and different council services in other locations across West Lothian. 